Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. It's me, Worst Having Gamer, and today is a very special episode, guys. It's our uh, Epic Summoner's Anniversary. Woohoo! So I'm crazy excited, guys. I'm about to literally pop some Invisi drink over here. Cheers to one year anniversary of Epic Summoner's, guys. Here's to that. Boy, they try to kill me out here, guys. Jesus Christ, they keep trying and trying to not succeed. I'm back, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's get right into this. So we got a lot of things going on today. We're going to uh, feature spotlight the brand new hero that they just released today. Um, let's take a look really quickly here. There's going to be some opportunities for me to get him for sure. Uh, we'll see what... So Bloodseeker is his name. We're going to take a look at his abilities really quickly now because this guy looks awesome, guys. The anniversary hero, I'm guessing he's going to be really, really good. Um, and the dungeons, it's gonna be tough, tough to really get to 10 stars, but we're gonna, let's see what we can do, guys. So, first of all, his ultimate deals 405 damage, 405% is insane, a lot of damage. to so one random enemy, that kind of sucks, it's just the one enemy, and causes them to bleed permanently. Hey, that's actually not bad, there's a lot of bleed potential there. Uh, every round will inflict 85% damage. Okay, so that's pretty decent, it's gonna really kind of take out a single hero, if not... They're going to be bleeding, so that's pretty dope. Whenever damage is taken in, that damage will never exceed the max HP of 50%. Whoa, so this guy can never really be taken out in one shot. Uh, the most you can ever do to him is 50% damage. Are you kidding me, dude? So wait a minute, that kind of is really strange. Whenever damage is taken in, that damage will never exceed the max HP of 50%. So hang on a second. If you attack him, so if he's at full HP... First attack, let's say, will annihilate him, will kill him, will only go to 50 HP, right? So half of your HP. The next attack can only do 50% as well, right? So then he goes to another 50% of that 50, and then he just go, he's going half and half and half and half until he has really no more. Uh, if that's the case, this guy is going to be a pain in the anus to destroy, if that's what I'm thinking. Unless this is only a one-time use, but we'll have to test that out. Uh, third ability, gain 50% attack HP for every dead enemy. Whoa, kill the enemy personally and gain additional 75% attack HP and increase fury by 30. Woo, this is dope. Every ability is awesome. Any enemy with less than 40% HP will increase hero's attack by 25% and hit rate by 50% for two rounds stackable. All right, guys. Jeez, that seems really good this guy is incredible wow i'm loving him right now uh so right now my team for this faction i have uh, the barbarian king because this guy is dope this guy is awesome guys he's really really powerful especially you know if you're facing a team with the monkey kings uh i mean he can't really take on three or more that's a lot but if it's like two this guy can handle it and he really i usually win when it's uh, two or less monkey kings but, boy, do I really want that new hero. So let's take a look at the events for this week as well, because these are going to be really good. So, they got a lot of new stuff going on right now. So, what's this? Anniversary ticket. So I'm guessing these are good for something. Let's take a look what else we got here. So, receive a hero event. This is the same as last week. If you can get up to 10 stars, you get this orange artifact, which is pretty good. I mean, uh, orange statue. That's not bad at all. Uh, that's the best one there. All right, drop an event. So you're going to be dropping some... Some good stuff from your campaign. Uh, and this is your exchange for this time. So the oh, so those tickets, you can exchange them here. And check this out. You can get the hero here for 1,500. Wow, that's a lot. So let's see. Uh, so for 100 bucks, you get 1,800. So you can get one for, I mean, 100 bucks, you can get about a one copy here. Uh, and then you can probably rack up another 1,500 during the week. So I'm guessing you can get two if you want to spend some money there or one for sure. And then they have the advanced wishing event. So this is uh, introducing the new. Let's jump right into that right now, guys, because this is introducing the new wishing uh, pond. So up to now, we've had the normal one. And then now you can click on advanced wishing pond, which you're going to need these special crystals to use. But it's got a lot of other goodies here, guys. Um, one of them is this blue. 
stones that now you can use to enhance your art your artifact even further so before you can only go to red now you can go to orange artifacts which are really good this one is um, eternal essence high order hero badge this is to increase your hero's badge that's pretty good as well and then five shards so not bad a bunch of good stuff here as well so that's new feature there let's go quickly jump to the heroes really fast i want to take a look at um right here the artifacts so this was the max you could go before five star red now we can actually jump to orange this is dope and look at all these new abilities that they give you now so not only does it increase your previous stats well actually this one doesn't increase it this one is makes it worse but it adds different things to it so from 50 percent damage it goes to 40 percent and a thousand one hundred attack it goes to 900 but that's only star one obviously if you get it to five stars it'll be a lot better 20 percent stun immunity that's really good right there and 250 real armor wow and i'm guessing uh, all the other ones are different so let's take a look at what this one does here 20 percent bleed immunity and then 250 real armor so i'm guessing they all have the real armor they're bleeding again real armor all right okay so pretty good it's gonna give you some immunities to stuns to bleed to all that good stuff so that's also been added there that's something new i mean uh if we can take a look they got a lot of new stuff added you just gotta go here take a look so new advanced wishing pond we talked about that uh the fiery wish crystal newly added fiery fiery wish crystal an item pop quest all right so that's something new we got to take a look at orange artifacts we talked about new added blue obscene stone obsidian stone damn i can't even freaking read uh hero badge can now upgrade higher quality newly added eternal essence so they just added a bunch of new stuff on this anniversary guys to further enhance your heroes now you can kind of take a jump forward uh, as well now let's take a look at the annual celebration so 20 buck pack here can get you some good things wow uh 99 of these for seven consecutive days oh we jumping on that guys for sure i'm jumping on this one right here because this is going to be really good you get all these good stuff here for 20 bucks and it's uh, our anniversary so you know i gotta spend a little bit for my home girl epic summoners i love you epic summoners i'm kind of addicted to epic summoners right now guys been playing it all the time so i gotta upgrade these i gotta restart these as well hero fund Ooh check this out this is a little bit more expensive here 50 bucks but you will be able to get a full hero here plus another there so two heroes right here and then you can probably uh i can probably get another one from this one here and another one from during the week so that's four copies right there that i'm already envisioning right now and then this is all the other stuff the level fun and that's all going so you know i'm going to definitely definitely go on these ones right now guys so let's go ahead and let's purchase these all right guys so clickety clank clickety clank went ahead and i uh, purchased those two things there but i see one here this is the daily one boom let's get that delete okay where's my other one i'm pretty sure we did the hero fun too what all right guys so i got that one fixed already there so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna claim our first um what's it called our first fragments of this guy here so let's go ahead uh let's unlock him first blood seeker i kind of forgot his name for a second there so let's go ahead let's summon blood seeker right now boom first blood seeker on the team and then you know what i'm going to open up this one right here what are the chances i get a blood seeker no. All right, that's okay. Oh, we'll take whatever we can get at that point right now. So, let's go ahead. Uh, another good thing here is, let's just, just to see how many I have of these. I got a lot of these, 299 of these guys. So, that's actually a lot. You only need about, if you only have one uh, shard, then you need 50. So, 50, I could probably get around five or six of the Blood Seekers that way as well. So, let's not forget about that. Oh, look at that. Boom. Since we summoned them, we can get that. Now, the good thing is, if you go here, I also have 12 books ready to go here. So, if I ever wanted to change somebody, let me just think for a second here. The problem is, I'm running a rainbow team. So, if I change anybody, it's going to mess up my whole team. That's why I can't really change anybody. Just for shits and giggles, though, let's just go ahead and just do something like this. Just because I want to see 
at max capacity 10 stars what bloodseeker is capable of so let's go this is the way to do it guys this is how you do it because this was going to show you if you click on info here this is going to show you at 10 stars what his true potential is all right so that's how you're going to you know be able to tell we'll take a look now we'll see how it changes a little bit deals 500 damage that is and steals 100 fury points from the enemy wow are you kidding me right now causes the enemy to permanently bleed every round will inflict 100 percent damage that is insane this dude is in insane are you serious right now whenever damage is taken in that damage will never exceed 35 percent what that's insane that's even lower Gain 20% uh, attack HP for every dead enemy. Kill the enemy personally and gain additional 100% attack HP and increase fury points by 50. So, whoa, increasing fury points, increasing stealing fury points here. So he should be able to get his ultimate quite often here and doing some crazy damn damage. Wow. Uh, any enemy with less than 40% HP will increase hero's attack by 30%. And hit rate by 20 for two rounds and that's stackable damn cuz that's insane guys this dude's stats are ridiculous i definitely want this dude on my team but in order for me to do that i would need six copies which i'm pretty sure i can get six copies of him and then six people to sacrifice i can definitely do that but like i said before the only problem is that would leave my team that would completely destroy my aura <laughs> my rainbow aura it's done i could do it for him right here the behemoth here bahamut but it's only eight stars and it's not really gonna make a big difference let's see here bam what do i need to sacrifice only two of him which i can get easily and only two of them that's eight stars and then i can try to get him to 10 stars that way doing it single-handedly one by one so what are we going to need here so if he's at eight stars in order for me to upgrade him some more i will need one more copy of him there i will need three of that uh faction and then i would need one six star of that faction which i don't have so it would take a lot more sacrifices to do that and then it's even further at 10 stars boy It'll be a little bit tricky to get him this way. The only way to get him at 10 stars is to literally um, switch somebody up for him. But I really don't want to do that, guys. I want to take them all on by myself. Damn it. This is going to be tricky, guys. I'm going to have to work at this for a while. I have to figure out how I'm going to get him to uh, 10 stars. Uh, it's going to take some time, obviously. But I'm, you know, I'm obviously definitely all in on Bloodseeker. I really love this guy. I don't know how he's going to fit my team. Because I do have Barbar Barbarian King there. The Barbarian King as well. But let's go ahead. Let's upgrade him a little bit here. Um, boom. I can easily get him to 10 stars. That's not a problem. I mean, um, a level 100 I meant. For now. And then I will have to definitely make a follow-up video to see this dude for sure. Uh, see the progress, guys. I'm definitely excited about the progress of Bloodseeker here. Sure, let's go bless you girl. Mm. There's definitely so much potential. There he is, level 100 here. So, even at level 100, I mean, he's going to be dope. He's going to be such a good hero here. I'm excited to use this dude for sure. Uh, we have to give him some good uh, statue here as well. So, there's a lot to do with him right now. There's a lot. I'm actually uh, saving up a lot of my resources here for human faction. Check it out. I got six of the Ice Queen here. So, a lot of different things that we're working on right now, guys. A lot of things. Since I already got my max team, you know what I mean? I got my max team set. And now, it's all about building that second team. There's a lot of different things that I want to do. I wanted to do an all-human team. But now, with, uh, you know, the Bloodseeker, things may change a little bit here. It may change for me right now. Hmm. But, either way, I'm going to end it off here, guys. Shoutouts to my guild real quick. Summoners! You guys rock. I'm going to end it off right here. I will check you guys out on the next Epic Summoners video. Happy anniversary, my dear. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.